since you're, when you were talking about the alien has latched onto us and is pulling with his tractor beam a long time ago, um, how do you relate your concept of the alien to world religion's concept of the creator or, um, the, you know, man's evo- karmic evolution to nirvana or samadhi? Well, I think what these religions are doing is that they are and they are interacting with this same intuition. The grandiosity comes in the sense that I don't think we're dealing with the God who hung the stars like lamps in heaven. You know what Milton said. Uh, that's some whole other scale. But what we're dealing with is something like the God of biology, that there is something on this planet that we have completely overlooked. I mean, look at the situation. We emerged from, you know, berry picking to photographing Europa in about uh, a million years. Well, Life has been on this planet, higher animal life. I don't just mean algae and lichens and like that. I mean higher animal life has been running around on this planet for uh, 300 million years. Well, how many, you know, biology is an is a engine of strategies. How many peculiar byways of evolution might be pursued explored and then perhaps quenched on that kind of a time scale. So we assume the only kind of intelligence there can be is our kind. But then the psychedelic uh, introduces us and then we have a limited number of choices. After you fiddle with psilocybin for a while, the question of whether or not there is an alien intelligence becomes moot. There is an alien intelligence. And then the question is, what is it? And the choices as are, and maybe you can help me add more, the choices are, it is a straightforward B-movie extraterrestrial of some sort that is God knows for what reason, but coming at us through this. That's one possibility. Uh, it is the Gaian mind in some version of that. In other words, it's the integrated intelligence of the biome of the planet that because probably of the historical crisis is actually noticed us and is trying to twiddle our knobs in some dimension we're not even aware of. So that's it. Extraterrestrial Gaian mind uh, could be some strange technological experiment launched from the future. In other words, since these things can communicate with us, since they seem to have some kind of value system related to our problems, maybe they are human beings of some sort. Uh, Perhaps it's a time travel project in some distant century that has decided that the key screw-up occurred in the 20th century and they're going back trying to twiddle the knob. (laughs) Notice that these theories have greater and lesser levels of elegance and I'm not (laughs) advocating any one. Here's one that I think is is interesting and mildly alarming. this is the shamanic one that these uh, are uh, that this entity, this contact, whatever it is, is somehow coming from the afterworld. That this is a project launched from an ecology of souls. That somehow uh, the erasure of the boundary between the living and the dead is what is at stake here. I mean, now this is from, you know, raised as logical positivists, this is the one you would choose